Inheritance is one of those things that is very easy to achieve in object-oriented programming languages like Python. Here is class A. And here is class B that inherits from class A. In a class diagram, it is drawn like this. But why do we inherit classes? The short answer is to prevent duplicate code and to achieve polymorphism. Fantastic! But these are things that are very abstract. So why don't I show you a beginner's tutorial to inheritance in Python where you see a piece of code without inheritance and gradually improve it by introducing inheritance, one step at a time. At the end of this tutorial, you have seen how inheritance prevents duplicate code and how it goes hand in hand with a very important feature of object-oriented design, polymorphism. You already know what a class is. Here you see a class diagram with class A. In this video you will see two situations. Situation 1 shows class B that inherits from class A. Situation 2 shows class B and C that both inherit from class A. Both situations are examples of single inheritance. Single inheritance means that subclasses inherit from a single superclass. The superclass is the thing in the top, the subclass is the thing in the bottom. Good. Now that you know some terminology, let's code. I will create an employee class that has a name and salary. I create three employees and print them. Python printed the employee objects. At this moment, all code is in one Python file, but usually you would find these parts in separate Python files. Okay, now I will add a second class. Let's add a manager to the system. As you can see, a manager also has a name and salary. So a manager is an employee, but it is more. A manager leads a department, and for this it has an extra attribute called leads department. We inherit manager from employee. In the class diagram, this is indicated by the arrow. By inheriting from employee, the manager class has all the attributes from employee plus one, leads department. I will omit the inherited attributes in the inherited class in this diagram, but the manager class will have them. Let me show you this in the code. To inherit from employee, Write employee here in parentheses. A manager is an employee that leads a department. I will give the manager an extra parameter for the department. Let's promote Dave to manager and run the code. I get an error. A manager also needs a department. That works. But how do I know that Dave is a manager? Let's print the correct information based on the employee type. The code is correct, 
but there are two things we can improve. Look at the class initializers. Both set self.name and self.salary. We are looking at duplicate code. We can solve this by calling the superclass initializer from the subclass. Watch how this works. I will replace the duplicate code by a call to the superclass initializer. That works. Now let's have a look at the second thing we can improve. Look at the type switch in the report module. When you think of this, it is kind of strange that a reporting module should check the employee type in order to print the correct information. Think of the implications. When a new employee type is introduced, the switch needs to be updated as well. If you forget to do so, the program will not be correct anymore. So how do you solve this problem? Let me show you. The superclass got a method called getReport. Now I will implement a method with the same name in the subclass. At this moment you can drastically simplify the report. Without checking the employee type, the correct information is shown. What you just saw is not magic, but polymorphism. Look at the getReport methods. Both classes have a method with this name, but both methods return different information based on the class type. This is called polymorphism. In this example, the superclass returns name and salary, the subclass overrides this method and adds the department information. You just saw inheritance with a superclass and a subclass. Notice there is an instance of manager in the list of employees and there are two instances of employee in the list. The employees list contains instances of both the superclass and the subclass. It is also common to create a superclass that is not instantiated at all and will just be used to inherit from. When is this useful? Let me show you. I'll add a programmer class to the system. Let's make Vera a programmer who programs in Python. A programmer object shows the programming language. Watch the magic of polymorphism. We did not have to make changes to the reporting code. Now I'll make Chuck a programmer as well. Now Chuck is a programmer who programs in C++. At this moment, each employee is either a programmer or a manager. The employee class is not instantiated anymore. When a class is not instantiated but only used to inherit from, we say it is abstract. In a class diagram, this is indicated by writing the name in italic. Now you have seen two situations of single inheritance. One where both the superclass and the subclass are used to be instantiated. And a second situation where a superclass is only used to inherit from. You saw how inheritance prevented duplicate code and gave us polymorphism, where subclasses can override the behavior of superclasses.
Polymorphism prevented switching on employee types in the reporting module. Before ending this tutorial, I'd like to say one thing about the difference between dynamically typed languages and statically typed languages. Perhaps you have noticed something in the last code you saw. When the employee class was not instantiated anymore, the getReport method does not need to exist in the employee class. This is true in Python because it is a dynamically typed language where polymorphism does not require inheritance. In statically typed languages, you do need to specify some common interface in the superclasses. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of inheritance, what it looks like in Python, and why it is used in object-oriented design. See you in the future.